We've reconnected with the former Democratic congressman from Florida, the CEO now of the American Jewish Committee, Ted Deutsch. Uh, Ted, thanks for, uh, once again for joining us. What would a potential ceasefire in Gaza mean for the rising tensions we're seeing all across these college campuses here in the United States? Well, Wolf, I appreciate the question. It's, it's uh, due time that we connect what's happening with Hamas, the fact that they're holding 133 hostages, six Americans for now over 200 days, that they have control of ending this if they return the hostages and they surrender. And on college campuses, the reason that Jewish students are at risk is because the protesters, so many of the protesters, aren't calling for the release of hostages. They're not making demands of the butcher, Sinwar, who slaughtered over 1,200 people on 10-7. Uh, they're calling for more 10-7s. They're taking, they're calling for action against Zionists. They're calling for intifada and more terrorism. Uh, we need to get to a point where the hostages are released. Hamas needs to do that. That's a significant step forward. And on college campuses, these protesters need to be held to account when they violate the codes of student conduct on their campuses. Universities must hold them accountable and putting Jewish students at risk and targeting one group for harassment and intimidation is a violation of any student code and there has to be accountability. Uh, Ted, I want to play a little clip of how uh, Senator Bernie Sanders yesterday characterized the turmoil on college campuses during an interview with my colleague Dana Bash. Listen to this. Do I doubt for a moment that anti-Semitism exists and is growing in the United States, that is part that exists among some people in, in the protest movement? Of course. But here is the reality. Right now, what Netanyahu's right-wing extremist and racist government is doing is unprecedented in the modern history of warfare. Right now, we are looking at the possibility of mass starvation and famine in Gaza. When you make those charges, that is not anti-Semitic. That is a reality. I want to get your reaction to what Senator, the senator said. Yeah. Yeah, I don't, I don't need Senator Sanders to lecture me about the reality of what's happening on college campuses. Uh, I spent time with students from Columbia, from Rutgers, from Brown last week, and it is not peaceful protests that has people screaming for more 10-7s, a 10-7 every day, a thousand 10-7s, uh, 10,000 10 10-7s. It's, uh, it's not political discourse to, to tell Jews that they should be gassed. It's nothing, it's no free speech expression to say that Jews should go back to Poland where 90% of the Jewish population was slaughtered during the Holocaust. With all due respect to Senator Bernie Sanders, what's happening on college campuses right now from so many of these protesters who are out advocating on behalf of the Hamas terrorists who slaughtered 1,200 is absolutely dangerous. It is inconsistent with the very things that Senator Sanders says that he actually cares about, which is free speech and the ability for everyone's voice to be heard. There is not another group. There is not, let me be clear about this, Wolf. There's not another group that would be the target, the focus of this kind of harassment and intimidation where people would look for some justification for it. It would rightfully be condemned. That's what we all, including Senator Sanders, that's what we all need to do right now about what's happening on campus so that the campus can be a place where every student is respected and no students are silenced, uh, certainly not just because they're Jews and support Israel. Senator Sanders says uh, he was emphasizing his and many others' outrage over the enormous civilian casualties in Gaza. Many of these students are peaceful protesters. Do you support, first of all, students' rights to peacefully protest this war? Of, of course, peaceful protest. Uh, peaceful protest is, is central to what happens in, in a free democracy. Of course, that's the case. But when these students, and let's be clear, they're not all students. A lot of them are outside agitators as well. But when anyone takes a position that puts an entire group at risk, that calls for terrorist, terrorism, that, that applauds what happened on 10-7 
and applauded. Literally, there was applause heard when the announcement was made that Iran was launching close to 350 missiles and drones at Israel. When they're learning to say death to Israel in Farsi, when they're celebrating the Houthis, a terrorist group, and they don't spend a second calling out Hezbollah or the Houthis or the, the militias in Syria, the Iran-backed militias, or the militias uh, the militias in Iraq, and they don't say a word about the genocidal regime in Iran that's bent on real genocide, which is the destruction of Israel and Hamas, which caused all of this, which exists, Wolf, for the sole purpose of destroying Israel and slaughtering Jews when they are silent on all of that and they seek to, to encourage violence against Jews, that is not the tradition of free speech that we celebrate on college campuses. It's anathema to that, and it does great harm to all of us who believe that college campuses must be safe for everyone and speech by every group must be heard. Ted Deutsch of the American Jewish Committee. Ted, thank you very much for joining us.